it could be a possibility, but let's let's talk about it though. Let's talk about it now. So, you know, he he took um he like you know we don't know right, but let's just assume that she never really been with a man that took that level of initiative, had that level of assertiveness in setting up the date, right? But again, Miss Evo, there's also women that complain about the dates that they go on with men, right? There's women that complain like, man, he was inconsiderate. He didn't ask me about, you know, X, Y, and Z. If he would have asked me about X, Y, and Z, the date could have possibly been better. He took me to a restaurant where they had food that I didn't like. He took me somewhere where I wasn't interested in anything that they had to offer. So now, nowadays, Miss Evo, there's a woman saying that, man, I want a man to be assertive. I just want to be able to just show up, look cute. But then at the same time, there's also other women that are complaining. So if a man, so if you and I are going on a date, right? And I say, hey, Miss Evo, what what do you, what kind of food do you like? What do you like to do for fun? What are your interests? There's women that shame men for asking those questions. Now they look at him as being less assertive because they're like, listen, you just need to set it up and let me show up and let's go from there. But then if you don't like it, then you're going to complain about it. So which one is it? Which one do you want? And this is the thing. It's exclusive to your own experience. There are women who complain when men, and this is why men shy away from wanting to, you know, pursue women or the fear of rejection or whatever the case may be. I said that earlier. Some men are like that. Some men won't, will have a woman in their DMs for a very long time or preying somebody and won't approach them because of the fear that one, they'll be rejected or two, what they will do won't be enough. Here is a woman that says what this man has done is enough and I am showing appreciation that it's enough and it's okay to do that. Why does it have to be something negative? Why does it have to be something negative? And this, I think, is a problem that we have, right? This is a problem that we have. Instead of looking at it from a perspective of, okay, she appreciates this king for doing whatever. Let's just assume that it's a black man, right? Because yeah. she looks light-skinned, whatever, right? Yeah. Let's assume that she appreciates the fact that the man took this time to do this thing for her out of his day, whatever. He's a travel nurse. He doesn't have that much time wherever he's situated, okay? I, I listened to it. I was paying uh -huh. attention. He's a travel nurse. So if he's yeah. a travel nurse and he's going to be away for whatever period of time or whatever on the ship or wherever the hell he's traveling to to go do the nursing things, okay, he included her in his, why is his time not as valuable as hers? His that's time is that's the question. His, his, his time, time is just valuable as valuable, her. right? His time right. is just as valuable as her time. So he took time out from visiting family or whoever or whatever to do this for this person who he's interested in, and this woman is showing her appreciation. Why is that wrong? Why Man, is it bad? Somebody in the comments, tell me why this is I bad. I want to listen. Listen, it's not wrong for her to show her appreciation, Miss Evo. But listen, like, like, like the people in the comments are, that are dragging her in the video that I that I pulled up before I put this back on. Like some of the people in these comments, like, man, I understand. Even if you haven't been on, even if you haven't dealt with a man like that for like so long, just, just look. Showing appreciation is cool, but like. Man, for you to be excited just because a man went on OpenTable.com and made a re and made a reservation at a restaurant, come on now. And like I said, listen, you you women need to stop going out on dates with men that you don't have any interest in. Like, like you, she shouldn't be talking about putting on lashes. She shouldn't be talking about going to buy a new outfit. And you should be doing that already if you're going on a date with a man. If you feel you need to do those things, you should be wanting to wear lashes. You should be wanting to get dolled up. If you look in your closet and you like, you know what? I don't wear all these, and I want to get, I want to get something fresh and new for this man. You should be wanting to do those things. It shouldn't, you shouldn't be wanting to do it because you felt like this man is being so assertive now. No, you should be doing that already. And we, and you know, another thing we need to talk about, Miss Evo, we need to talk about, we need to talk about how we need to talk about how a lot of these women, a lot of the men that they deal with, don't really like them for real because. Um, 
you know, there's a lot of women that want to talk about how men aren't as chivalrous and things like that, like these days. Like this man, well, I'm not even going to say he really likes her because, like, again, he did very basic, bare minimum stuff, but a lot of what women is talk expected. about men. Let's just call yeah. it what is expected. Right? What is expected, yeah. A lot of women talk about men not wanting to open doors. Um, you know, they don't want to walk on the side closest to the street. They don't want to just do certain things. And it's stick like, up in, stick up in, stick up in right there, okay? If she had came on TikTok and said, man, he opened the door for me and I wasn't a chirp, chirp girl or whatever the case may be, would it have made a difference? Mm. Would, it have, would it have made a difference? Because chivalry is dead. No, it's not. Chivalry is dead. Not no, all not. men are out here opening doors for women and being nice and respectful and all those other things. So would would the would the would the would the would the would the conversation be different if she had came on and said, guess what? He pulled out my chair and I felt like a queen. Would that be different? Would the conversation be different? Man, I honestly, I honestly, I think again, I'll be one hundred percent. I'll answer your question one hundred percent honestly. I think it will go back to um, my original point of a lot of women dealing with men that don't really like them. A man, a man that really likes you and really appreciates you, they are going to do those things, Miss Evil. They are going to hold the door open. So some men, nowadays. some men are even, some men are even going to tell you like, listen, don't, just stay right here. Unbuckle your seatbelt. They're gonna open the car door for you. They're gonna when y'all walk in, they're gonna they're gonna uh <laughs> they're gonna pull your chair back for you. When they're a man do wants all these to things, do those if they things, like you, no. if they don't like okay. you, then those things are not going to happen. And a lot of women men lead with, with their. Really I'm, I'm, gonna, like I'm gonna push back a little bit on that. Let me push back a little bit on that. Men lead with their representative because the in the the the, the end goal is to get some pussy. Let's just be real. Now I'm gonna sit up because I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk straight. Okay, <laughs> a man will open doors and pull out the chair and do all the things because the end goal is the coochie to beat some cheeks. Okay, men will lead with their representative. Women do it too because I don't play that double standard shit. Okay? Mm -hmm. Men will lead with their representative. So the initial interaction. If it's okay, I'm going to pull your chair out. I'm going to do all those things or whatever the case may be. Okay, what's next? Let's see what's next. I can be excited in the moment. I can be excited for the fact that he opened the door for me. He pulled my chair out. He stood up when I said I'm going to the bathroom. I can be excited. I'm allowed to be excited for that. Whether or not somebody wants to invalidate the experience and say, well, that's the bare minimum, he should be opening the door. He should stand up when you're excusing yourself to go to the washroom. I'm allowed to be excited for that. But then what comes next? And to your point, and to your point where you said that um, some men don't like these women, some women just want free food. Right. Some women are out here. Okay, guess what? I'm hungry today. Let me scroll through my phone and see who's been messaging me on Instagram. Okay, boop, Tom, I'm going to go out with you tonight because I'm hungry. Right. Women do do that. But men also are dating with the intent of clapping some cheeks. Absolutely. So it's a 50-50. Yeah. Women want to eat and men want some cheeks. I'm not, hey, I'm not mad at that at all, Miss Evo, but because, like, I've acknowledged that before in the past, too. Like, what you just said is a fact, but I mean, getting excited, getting cheeks, getting cheeks excited, for doors, man. cheeks for doors. Cheeks I'm gonna do doors. a TikTok on that. <laughs> cheeks for doors. I'm gonna do a TikTok on that. No, but for real, though, Chad, that was a good one. For real, it's cheeks for food. Getting, getting, um, getting, getting excited because he made a reservation, though. That's that's something different, Miss Evo. I've never seen anything like that before. The thousands of people that are commenting, dragging her for it, have if also never cheeks, seen anything like that before. Would it like been allowed to happen. Women want the same thing. True. Because I am the gatekeeper to my body. Nobody can get inside of me unless I give them consent. You're right. You're right, Elizabeth. I agree with that. 
Well, Miss Evil, I just think I just think women I just think women need to start dealing with men that you know they really men that really like and appreciate them more. Instead How do you know it? that though, Noble? How do you know that? Men men and women lead with their representative. I could be a piece of shit. And when I put them lashes on and put that blonde wig on, you can't fucking talk to me. Cause I'm walking and stepping out. But I could be a real bitch. When I slay them edges on that blonde lace wig and throw that bag over my goddamn shoulder and stepping in them red bottoms, I am the shit. But I'm a bitch underneath all of it. A real bitch. <laughs> Nicole, just you like said how, stop that. Just like how. Hold on, I'm, man. I'm, I'm going to play frankly. Nicole. I'm speaking I'm frankly. I'm going to play this video again. No, I'm speaking frankly. This is a fact. No, but women okay. and men lead with their representative. Okay, so Miss Nicole, so Miss Eva, if men and women lead with, if they, if you know for a fact that this person is probably not the real person that they're portraying themselves to be, then all we have to go off is the representative, right? So if my representative, if my representative is giving you energy that a lot of these other men are not giving you. I'm not only I'm not hitting you up between the hours of nine and nine p.m. and three a.m. I'm not I'm not I'm not like I'm really trying to take you out on dates. I'm really texting you throughout the day, asking you how you're doing. I'm actually doing all these things. So if I'm doing all these things and these other guys are not doing all those these things, even if we all got a representative, my representative. If you going off representatives, you should probably go with my representative. My representative is showing that. They really like and appreciate you more. 